Okay, so welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have the following double integral. So we're evaluating our bounds from 0, 1, and 0, 1 for y and x of our, um, the, maximum, the maximum of x, y. So um, first, I'll define what the um, max function specifically is. So it's defined as um, the maximum between our two numbers, x and y. So um, it could be split up into two cases, for example. One, it can actually equal x, and that's um, the condition, uh, say, that x is supposed to be uh, greater than or equal to y, and it's equal to y if, you know, the opposite happens. That means x is strictly less than y. Okay, so we have this definition over here. So if we replace this with um, what, for what was given for the double integral, basically the whole way to tackle this is um, if we have two different values, that would have to mean we would actually have to calculate two different integrals. So now what I'll start off by doing is I'll actually sketch of our uh, little domain, specifically the bounds from zero to one. So over here we have our little graph the domain specifically we're looking at is from um, 0 to 1. So our y is here and our x is here. So there's also the reason we put this um, strict, we also put in this like equal to inequality because we can also have that x and y can be the same numbers. So for in this case, if that was the case, then it could be defined as like a linear function um, from x. We'll call that the, the function x or y equals x, x equals y, specifically that. So here, um, all along this line is supposed to represent that's if x and y are the same numbers, then um, if I were to split the bounds up for instance, really, we have this little definition that we have to um, analyze here. So I'm actually going to use two different colors and shade in the region. So give me one second to properly um, fill, fill in those. Um, okay, so here we have um, the area shaded in blue and then the area shaded in red. So what does the red entail? So the red says that if x is uh, greater, than, greater, than, greater than y, then that's, that has to imply that the max of, um, the max of our uh, two numbers x, y, it has to equal x. And then of course for the blue over here is the opposite saying that if x is less than y, so y is bigger, then that has to imply that the max of our two numbers x, y, is equal to y okay so that would mean we have two different values but not only that if we're actually trying to calculate the integrals the double integrals specifically that means we would have to actually calculate two different integrals and then add those integrals up together uh, and especially we're taking um we're um, diff um integrating this in respect to y so now from here we can actually perform the necessary calculations so we know that so um just basically rewrite our given so this is the double integral, both for our domain is from um, 0 to 1 for both x and y. And then we're different, um, integrating this in respect to y. That would have to mean, so let's see, the, the integral, and then inside this bracket, um, I'll write this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to put the blue, the red area with that integral and then the blue with that integral. So really, um, this integral over here is that we're different, we're actually integrating this from between uh, zero and then um, x, right? So that means uh, zero to x. And we're differentiating this in respect to y, so that means we're going like from top instead of, you know, um, left to right, we're, in, we're going from bottom to top. So this will be um, the function, let's see, that's x. And in, in respect to dy, and so that will be plus. Now we got to differentiate. Now we get. I keep saying differentiate. We're integrating. I apologize for that. Um, now we have to um, integrate integrate this blue region over here. So this is actually in respect to y as well. But this is um, we're integrating from between. Um, so the bottom the bottom equation would be x, and then our um, where we had to stop is at one of y dy okay and then that's of course um that cuts that off and then dx but of course you know um 
and um, trying to find the antiderivative in respect to y, that's actually easy if you take in a calculus three course, learning the basics of double integrals, especially with the partial derivatives. So that means you treat, um, since we're different, uh, integrating in respect to y, uh, that means we have to treat x as a constant. So that means if we're uh, integrating this, that will be, we have that this is just, um, so I'll just write this, and then over here, this is um, x times y, and we evaluate this from our bounds from x to zero, and then plus, now this is in respect to y, so y is the variable, so you just use the power rule, so um, now we would have that this is one half y squared of x to one, then dx. Okay, and then now that's easy to show. Um, I'm just gonna skip the calculations over here. That means over here we would have x, over here we would have, um, that would be x squared. Then from here, this is, um, so one half, so it's a plus one half, and then subtract that with x, so that's the, uh, minus one half x squared dx. Okay, and now this is super easy to integrate because now we're just dealing with x's and this is our standard little uh, definite integral. So we have x squared uh, plus one half, then minus one half x squared dx. If I can just continue forward, I can just simplify the term. So this is still, um, so this will be one half and then x squared minus one half. So that's a positive. So one half x squared dx then um, simply this is just over here that's just one half x then um, so plus three divided by that so it's plus one over six x cubed and evaluate this from zero to one then over here you'll see that we have that um, if I plug in one for here so I have um, one half and then plus one over six and if I just plug zero the whole thing just becomes zero so this is one half plus one over six. And if I just uh, reduce this down, get a common, not really reduce, but find a common denominator and then add those terms, one half is the same thing as three over six, then plus one over six, four over six, then that reduces to just two over three, like so. And um, that's the final answer to our little double integral given, like so. All right, um, so that's uh, pretty cool if you ask me.